Hi, and welcome to your tarot reading. In my mind, I'm seeing the Eight of Wands, so this reading is going to be about something that's going to move very quickly in your life. Other than that, I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. We'll mix the cards up together, we'll pull them together, we'll read them together. No edits, no cuts. Uh, so you can think of a question and we'll see what comes out. And remember, with YouTube tarot readings, take what resonates with you. They go out to hundreds or thousands of people, so not every single point is going to be for you specifically. So take what resonates. Think of your question. I'm mixing up the card. I'm going to break them into three piles. Bring back to one. And let's see what we get here. I'm also seeing a, a truck or a car moving through traffic somewhere where it's congested. So this, this may pertain to some kind of a move that's happening or or some trips, but let's see what comes out. Okay, so things have been, we'll just say intense. <laughs> They've been intense for a lot of people. This card, although it looks scary, it's really showing something needing to change in your life. Something needs to fall and notice that there's light on the horizon. The card's also reversed, which is often to me, if I'm looking at the symbolism here, it's like these swords are actually coming out of the person and you're coming out of a period of maybe, there maybe have been some physical issues, some emotional issues. Maybe that you were, you had an experience of being stabbed in the back by somebody, but it's a spiritual awakening and there's light that's coming in and, uh, and you're strong. So whatever, whatever your question is or whatever topic we're talking about, and that may get clearer as the reading goes on, you're holding your ground, but there's a lot of challenges and there's nothing that's really worth it in life. I, I need to move my microphone a little closer. Um, hopefully the sound was, was okay. <laughs> Um, but you're holding your ground, you know, with with you know, a lot of challenges, and I think you know, a lot of this has to do with either your your location now, or your job, or money, or financial issues in your life, and you, and also about changes and maybe um, friendships, relationships. Uh, I want to pull a few more cards, and dive a little bit deeper into that, but. This card here, it came out reverse, but I'll show it to you forward. It's really that you're building something, you're working towards something. Don't get thrown off track. Life happens. There's a lot of stress out there, and there's a lot of demands being made of you from different sources. And you may feel like there's been um, just some dissension at home, like with partner or family or stuff like that. And just you know, a fair amount of stress in the air, but there's a lot that you're you're letting go of also. So I'm gonna uh, pull a bunch more cards. Some of you may be adopting a puppy or a king because that image came up in my mind. So, all right. Um, so, okay. Let me back up a second. There's definitely some movement and change and coming out of some stressful and challenging energies. Now, there's likely to be somebody that's been a little bit abusive or maybe a lot um, verbally more than anything emotionally. It, male figure, likely, but not definitely. This could be a female also. Somebody that's smart and intelligent and has some le level of power or control. And there tend to be a financial side to this. Now, for some of you, we're talking about a separation or a divorce even. For others of you, we're talking about something around work or money that's been a little bit mischievous from, from somebody else or, or another um, part of an organization or an individual that's been underhanded. Um, but the, the Six of Pentacles here shows money coming in and it shows balance and karma being served. And this is also interesting because uh, with the Queen of Cup, uh, with the Queen of Wands, it also shows that things are going to come out ahead in your favor. But just to keep a cool head about things, something's going to need to be discussed. There may be something that comes up legally or personally, but there's sort of a sense of clearing the air for some 
but for others, just getting a sense of fairness and justice in the situation. And the world card shows a good ending and a positive ending. So in a change that you're going through, and this could be also a, a physical move as well, but that you've been going through lots of ups and downs and changes, but letting go, moving on from stressful, difficult, or negative situation, for a lot of you, the last six months, maybe even longer, and this reading is telling you to stay the course. Things get a little bit bumpy. For some of you in the situation, there's a new player, like a, another party that comes in that kind of throws a wrench in things. But you understand what the truth is in this. You understand you know, by applying some good old-fashioned hard work and ingenuity into things, planning things. And if this is indeed a, a separation, a legal issue connected to work or, or anything of that nature, you know that you're right. And if you present it well and organize things properly, that you're going to get what you deserve. So again, hang in there that you're strong and things are going to look a lot better. And I want to go back to this world card. Um, things are, are definitely going to land in the right place. So hold your ground. Wherever the negative influences from the past, it's time to cut those cords because a new reality that's going to be happier, more fulfilling, more financially rewarding, and in relationship issues, more grounded and more of a sense of stability, kindness and compassion, and not with the abuse or the undertones or condescendence or things of that nature. So you're moving away from negative people, negative situations, honor your heart, honor your spirit, attract the new beginnings. Within a year, you're going to be in a really good place on a lot of levels in your life. So that's what I have for you, and thank you. And I'll, uh, on the end screen, we'll put a video up here about what to expect in both your life and the world around you in the rest of the summer and the autumn months. Love you. Thank you.